The National Honor Society recently held a special ceremony at the Stafford Civic Center. So today we were honoring our new members, our new inductees. Uh, there are sophomores, juniors, and some seniors. And then we're also saying farewell to our seniors who have been members with us some very short time for a semester, others for over two years. And we just want to honor all of them and acknowledge their hard work and sacrifice and make sure to give them some time to shine. The National Honor Society is the premier uh, academic society for high school students around the world. Uh, they have chapters all over in every single continent. Uh, we, we work within schools, communities, within ourselves, and we just want to instill with our students leadership, character, service, um, and these things we feel uh, just build better citizens, better human beings, and just put leaders out there in the world. The co-sponsor for the National Honor Society, Ms. Megan Thompson, elaborates on her experience with the program. So I have been involved for two years and it has been a really interesting process because I get to see these kids outside of the classroom in the community serving and being leaders and to see them outside of the classroom setting in that capacity is something that brings a lot of joy um, into my life and into other people's lives and helps bring our community together. It's extremely rewarding actually um, and it's also ironic because freshmen and seniors actually have a lot in common. Uh, sometimes their work ethic is not there but it is so exciting to see them buckle down and believe in themselves and especially by senior year having that confidence um, and that growth is absolutely just amazing and it makes teaching worth it. The National Honor Society, because it is the premier academic society for high schoolers, it's known worldwide. Uh, all universities know of the National Honor Society and what's expected to get into the National Honor Society. Not only do you have to be really smart, which all these kids are, but you have to be involved in service, you have to be involved in leadership positions, you have to be an active student. You can't just go home at 310 when the bell rings. You have to do more, you have to give more of yourself to your school and your community. And that's what we try to instill. And we're trying to bridge those opportunities together uh, here at Stafford. I would say, because I am from Stafford, I grew up in Stafford, you know, we want to work more with Stafford community members. Uh, just reach out to us. Uh, we've tried to reach out to the community, uh, but it hasn't been very successful uh, for the last couple of years. Uh, but we want to help out here at home first. So any community members um, within the city uh, or this area, we want to do things. We want to help you out. We want our kids to know about your project, about your, your mission, because our mission is just to do that, make our home, our community, our school, our kids better. I'm just really thankful for the teacher support and the administration support and the students who come together and are not always recognized because there's a lot of behind the scenes people, students and teachers. Um, and it wouldn't be possible without them and their sacrifices. For June Magazine, I'm Raquel Sims.